guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain to episode 5 of Fate and Grand Order of Babylonia. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Anybody gonna die today? I mean, look, I just, <laughs> I got upset about characters dying in SAO. And if characters die today in this show, <laughs> oh fuck, <sighs> just make me happy. <laughs> He's not an asshole. Uh, I need a drink. Like, Professor Pepperly wine? <laughs> After that episode? Girl, what the fuck? Like, no. Mm. My dog. <laughs> I wonder when she's going to show up because I mean, we saw her like a couple episodes ago, so hopefully. Maybe before episode 10, the Medusa looking chick is gonna have. And then I'm still talking about like what the three storms, which I think Medusa is one of them, then it was somebody else, and then my best girl. So, yeah. I mean, I hope one of the storms comes through. I'm not 100% sure, but. Oh, it seems easy. See, but Fuji, you see that now, and the next thing you know, like, something's gonna happen. Even me saying it seems like it's gonna be easy. Something's gonna happen. Yeah, well, it's a date. Are we literally going to have a part where he just pours water all over himself? Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> mm, 
kind of normal. Like, basically, the trip is just business. I mean, okay, do you have any stories where you had danger, you know, I mean, somewhat of a romance, something else? Mm-hmm. <laughs>
makes me want to go to the beach, but it's 60 degrees out here in Florida, right? so that's a no. Only the doctor would literally third one. Them. I mean, Gilgamesh third one. <laughs> so fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I'm so many <laughs> Didn't think you would have came back in today's episode. Yeah, but okay, Ekidu ain't dead right now. You see him right there, right? Imagine if Gilgamesh comes downstairs and just sees him. My god. Mm -hmm.
Okay, I think I just know what the fuck happened. Because of the fact that Gilgamesh is there, and the fact is that his body is being used, he literally, his soul came back to him for a second. Okay, yeah, he just came to my you're fucking me over right now, right now. Mm -hmm. But see, even though he's an imposter, the thing is, is he really going to kill him? Or is he going to fucking hesitate over it? That was supposed to happen, right? Of course, she would run away. I just want to know about the fucking glitch part right there. Okay, you sure you don't want to go in the water? Even his eyes, they're glitching.
Okay, I got a couple of questions. So since the fake, we're going to call him fake Edgar, even though he has the memories of the real one and he hesitated because of that glitch of Gilgamesh and then all the previous memories that he's getting from the real Edgar, even though he's dead, is he the guy? Because every single time he's referring to Mother, is he referring to the woman that we saw a couple of episodes ago? The Medusa-looking chick? I mean, then that has to be a yes. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, what the fuck is about to happen with this? This is only episode five. We know that eventually, like, well, y'all don't know. Y'all know. I don't because I haven't played this game in a while. I don't think he's going to kill him. I mean, because what is that going to give him in the end? I mean, just to finally be able to move on because. It seems like possibly the person who's using Edgidu's body, he can possibly transfer into other different bodies, soul wise, maybe. So then one one day he could be Edgidu, the next week he could be somebody else, then they go into someone else and they come back to Edgidu. Or is he just simply Edgidu this whole entire time? Because that's what I feel like is going to happen. Like he's not going to kill him as Edgidu, he's going to kill him as somebody else. I don't know how, I don't know when. Maybe Gilgamesh, I swear to God, if Gilgamesh dies in the end of this fucking series, we're going to have a problem. I mean, look, it was already hard enough for me last year to watch F <laughs> UBW and see Archer, one of my husbandos, kill my husbando, and then having <laughs> watched the fucking movies and Gilgamesh is dead because, well, everybody says it's not really Sakura's fault because it wasn't, and I understand that, but because of the fact is that Sakura was being controlled by that thing, in my opinion, I still have to blame Sakura for that. Even though, yes, I got shit for that for, like, two weeks straight. And everybody's like, no, it's not Sakura's fault. I'm like, I know, but still. <laughs> I was like, she ain't no. No one else do. But still, she was possessed and she ate him. She killed him, even though it wasn't her with the thing. But still, yes, I understand that, though. But still, in my opinion, I gotta accept that. I'm just saying. But I don't think, like, still in my mind, I don't really think Gilgamesh is gonna die. I mean, this battle between the fake and Gilgamesh was a really interesting one. But that hesitation, and even if he didn't hesitate, it, like, Gilgamesh would have died. Mesh would have died. Fuji would have died. All three of these characters would have died, and then we would have just probably moved on with Merlin and Anna and seeing what the hell they were going to do. I mean, because, like, as much as this episode was focused on my husband, and I loved it. Still wish I would have had, like, a little bit of, you know, fan service, even though you gave it to me. <laughs> um, it makes me so wonder, like, what the hell did Merlin and Anna do? While the other two were gone with Gilgamesh. I mean, he also gave me some moments with Mush, and I do like that. And because she is one of my favorite characters, and I still want to know a lot more about her. And specifically, like, she's struggling with stuff. And, of course, they talked about it a little bit in this episode. And I feel like each and every single episode maybe will go more in-depth into it. Possibly. I'm not 100% sure. Because I think that was Blackbeard she was talking to. I'm not 100% sure. Because the last time I saw her was in last Encore when I watched it. Like... A month or two ago, I believe. But, I mean, yeah. It was a damn good episode. Just, uh, my heart hurts. <laughs> That's all. I think that, guys, that was very action to towards episode 5 of Fake Grand Order Babylonia. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys for sure next Saturday for episode 6. Bye, guys. Thank you.